This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're interested in an easy way to build a website or online store, Squarespace has you covered. But more on that later. For now, let's travel. I've been touring around Sri Lanka for 10 days now, and it's been a great trip so far, but I've been getting driven around in a van with a group of other people. It's been a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but it's time to switch things up and drive myself around and do it in a style that is more Sri Lankan. There's a company here in Sri Lanka called Tuk Tuk Rental. And now I'm getting my own tuk-tuk to drive around this country for two weeks. The process of renting this was super easy thanks to the team over at Tuk Tuk Rental. All you need is a driver's license from your home country and they file all the paperwork to register a temporary local license for you. And they even set you up with complete insurance. They also give you a driving lesson before you hit the roads yourself, which is definitely necessary because driving this thing takes some getting used to. Woo. Signal. Look at both sides. Still learning, still learning. Okay, first gear, let me go the second gear. Third gear. Third gear. Wait, 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 wait. Woo! Okay, yeah, oh, Very careful. Very careful. After about an hour lesson on the side streets, I was ready to take this thing on the main road by myself. It's pretty ambitious, but for my first day ever driving a tuk-tuk, my goal is to leave the busy city of Colombo and drive all the way to the south to the town of Mitigama, where the guys from Tuk Tuk Rental recommended a hostel for me to stay in called Surfing Wombats. But before we do all that, it's time to roll the intro. guys I've driven about two hours so far uh, I've been prioritizing my safety so I haven't filmed much but right now check this out just made a little pit stop because I saw the beach I'm driving down the coast but I haven't always been driving on the beach right now the road is going right down the beach and this is just so beautiful I couldn't resist to pull over and take a little break here this is nice hello USA USA America uh, yeah and you? <laughs> Sri Lanka. Ah, beautiful. You catching fish? Yeah, yesterday only paracuda. What? Paracuda. Paracuda? Five kilo. Wow. Anything today? Today, no. How many weeks Sri Lanka? Four. Four weeks? Yeah. I drive my tuk tuk. Ah. See, this is the kind of travel I'm more interested in connecting with locals, learning about catching barracuda. Had a nice conversation with that guy right there. This is going to be a cool trip. I'm looking forward to it. So far I've driven about two hours and there's uh, another two hours left according to the GPS. Alright, just got pulled over. Not for any safety reasons, but because people are waving down, giving out some free watermelon over here. Hey. Right. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. Why are you doing this? Because uh, today is a holiday in Sri Lanka. It's a holiday? Today is uh, Buddha's birth. Oh, today is Buddha's yeah, birthday. Yeah. Oh, happy birthday to Buddha. <laughs> oh, don't say that. <laughs> is that bad to say? Oops. Well, free watermelon for Buddha's birthday. Nice holiday. That was pretty funny because they're waving everyone down over here. And I thought it was going to be like a security military checkpoint, but turns out they're just giving out free watermelon. <laughs> That's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Keep... <laughs> Later, keep later. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. That's enough, that's enough. No, no. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Look at all this watermelon. That is so cool. Everyone's just pulling over and they're giving out free watermelon to everyone. It's so nice. And this guy just shoved three pieces of extra watermelon on my bag, so now I have some for later. Wow, all right, back on the road, one more hour till I find my destination. Guys, I freaking love this holiday. I just drove another 30 minutes, and 
it's happening again over here. They're giving out free juice. Hey, good, good. Hello. What kind of juice is this? Yeah, that's a uh, mixed fruit juice. Mixed fruit juice? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, almost there. 30 more minutes till we make it. It took me five and a half hours, but I finally made it to Surfing Wombat's Hostel. The owner of this place is Italian, and she trained the staff to make some killer meals. My first night here, I ate an entire pizza by myself. It's been a while since I've had pizza, and this was so good. I met some cool people in the hostel and went to sleep early for an exciting adventure the next day. Hey, 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 good morning, friends. So yesterday, I was messaging a bunch of people on couch surfing, looking for some advice from locals about fun things to do around here. And I heard back from some people and there's this one guy who seems really interesting. He said he was, he's was he been really busy studying for exams. He's currently in medical school, I believe. Uh, but he said he's willing to take a break from his exams to show me around. Um, there's a really cool spot that he said we can go hike and end up at the beach. Sounds something like I would love to do. So of course, I accepted that invite and I'm gonna go meet him now. It's pretty early, it's just after 7 a.m. Uh, but he said he's a morning person and he has to study later, so let's go meet him. All right, so we made it. Gonna start our little jungle trek and this is, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Lakna? Hey, man. Yeah, cool. So he came out here this morning even though he's supposed to be studying. And what are you studying for? Uh, it's medicine, basically. Medicine? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for taking me out here. Hey, welcome back. Whoa, this view is incredible. That's nice. Not many locals know this place. You have to like, find it with the, the true locals here. Yeah. I get to introduce this place with, by my, one of my friends, cool. who's also a local here. So you got to be a local to be here. You I'm driving be a local local here. I'm driving a tuk-tuk, so I'm pretty much a local, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> brought me to a ledge over here. It's time for some cliff jumping. I think we're gonna switch over to the GoPro now. Boom, all right, let's hit it. intense hike. Yeah. Man. That was cool though. And now we're at such a beautiful spot. So thank you so much for taking some time out of your studying to come <laughs> show me some beautiful I spots. It, I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Yeah. So one question I do have for you okay. is regarding to this area. What would you say, why do you enjoy living in this area? What's, what's special about this place to you? I think um, it's all about the beaches. There are lots of beaches. Uh, I mean, more than 10 beaches around Gawler itself, uh, where you can come. I mean, each and every beach something special for you to you to take, right? So it's like uh, the beach that we came here today and the jungle trek. It's pretty much like you have you have the jungle and the beach. And if you go to the Gawler Fort or the Mahmoudar Beach, which you call as a Mama Beach, it's the, the sunset and the, the cool breeze and stuff like that. I mean, you got lots of options. Even the locals don't know there are lots of options over here, so. Seems like surfing is very popular around here. 
So if you like the beach, if you like surfing, if you like the water. And the snorkeling. And the snorkeling, yeah. This place is for you. I'm definitely loving it. So thanks again for showing me around this area. It's always awesome connecting with locals. If you ever have the chance, hop on couch surfing. Just send some people a message and see what's up. That's a good, good way to start connecting with people, local especially. Yeah, absolutely. They always know the best spots, like yeah. here. All right, I think I'm going to head to uh, an area called Gaul and get some food and then explore the fort around there. But dude, bring it in, bring it in one more time. Awesome knowing you. Great meeting you. And again, you good luck with your exams. I'll see you somewhere else. Boom. <laughs> okay, just arrived in Gaul. And this area of Gaul has a big fort around it. This is the wall right here. On the other side is the ocean. To be honest, I don't really know much about it. So I want to do some research, but I kind of want to go find a place to refuel. I need some refreshments, some food. So in that time, I'll sit down, I'll Google some stuff so I can share some interesting information with you. Sound good? Let's do it. Oh, I'm feeling so much better now that I got some yum yums filled up my tum tums. And I did have the chance to do some research thanks to this little device right here and I read this whole entire article that's hundreds and millions and thousands of words but luckily for you you don't have to go through the trouble of reading all that I'm gonna put it into simple Steve Yellow terms so ignorant foreigners like me can understand why this place is significant so the main reason why this is so significant is due to the fact that European architecture is integrated with Southeast Asian culture and you don't see that in many places, so that's why this is actually labeled as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So some history for you. The Portuguese were actually the first Europeans to land in this exact spot right now. It was in 1505. 1505. A long time ago. And they came here and they did build a fort. It wasn't anything like the fort is now, but in 1640, hold on, a little noise going on over here. One more. In 1640, the Dutch came and took over this land and built a much more secure fort. And they actually established a city within the fort, which is what is still thriving today. Obviously, it's been modernized and progressed over the years, but it has a lot of European influence, which is really significant, and that's why UNESCO has labeled this a World Heritage Site. And what I find most interesting is the fact that this city was originally built to keep out foreign invaders and keep the people living here safe, and now it is known for tourists to come and have girls force their boyfriends to take Instagram photos <laughs> against beautiful architecture. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful sunset. The clouds look so cool. And I made some new friends. You guys want to meet my new friends? Hello, friends. Hello, I made some friends. Doggy dogs. Hello, doggy dog. What is your name, dog? Ah, oh, this one's on me. Get off of me, dog. What's up, dog? Do you have a name? Do you speak English? No? Ruff Ruff McRufferson? Dogs doing dog things. Dogs playing with the other dogs. Dogs licking my camera. Dogs fighting with each other. Okay. Bye, dogs. Come back, come back. This one no come back. <laughs> Sweet, just made it back to surfing wombats and craving some of this delicious pizza they have here. I actually had a pizza last night, so today I switched it up and ordered a calzone, or a calzone. Calzone, calzone. calzone. Very important, most important. <laughs> All right, I'm excited for this. Doesn't that look delicious? So this episode isn't over just yet, but if you've been paying attention, you'll remember that in the beginning, I mentioned this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So let me explain what this is real quick. 
Squarespace is an online platform designed to make it easy for you to build a professional looking website. There are so many sleek templates so you can completely adapt it to your style and brand. If you've been thinking about building a website of any kind, whether that be a store for your business or maybe even a portfolio for your video work like I'm currently creating, Squarespace is the place to do it. If you're interested in trying this for yourself, you can do it for free. I will leave a link in the description of this video. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash Steve Yallow for a 10% discount off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, that's enough for Squarespace. Now let's finish this episode. Ah, hello friends. Welcome to a new day. Last night I enjoyed that calzone. Calzone, calzone, calzone. Calzone. And now I'm getting ready to leave surfing wombats but if you are coming to this area and you're looking for a place to stay I'd suggest checking out surfing wombats and if you don't stay here you should still come and check out their food they have amazing pizza even in the morning I just had a delicious smoothie bowl so breakfast lunch and dinner whatever you want they got it for you here so with that being said I'm gonna head in Turkey Turkey over here still doesn't have a name new day new name <laughs> and driving about an hour and a half east to a place called something that I forget but I'm going to tell you in the next episode so be sure to tune in coming soon and if you're not already I'd appreciate if you click that subscribe button drop a like on this video and maybe share it with a friend if you enjoyed it that much but for now like I said, I'm about to head out of here, so I'm packing my stuff, getting ready to go. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, meet Marsha. She's gonna travel with me up to Ella, so I have company in my tuk-tuk. Yay, I'm not alone. So there's a kitchen right here, and there's stairs leading up to upstairs, and there's a slide. <laughs> <laughs> All of the branches are filled with these humongous bats and some of them are flying around most of them are just hanging but they look like freaking vampires you want to fish in? Uh, one hour just 500 yeah. <laughs> all right guys we just made it on to a road called b35 which is very well known to have wild elephants roaming around guys we found an elephant holy moly god oh my god 